But yeah, another piece I'm thinking about here in terms of, you know, my question, do churches, how do we think about churches glorifying God when we see problems and so on, um, is just a thing of, you know, ethnic reconciliation or how do we relate across cultural lines or whatever. Um, seems like it's a big part of Ephesians. It says God is bringing together people from everywhere, bringing them together now, walk in unity. Um, you know, some years ago, I think this was maybe attributed to various speakers, but in the mid 1900s in America, there was a saying, you know, 11 o'clock Sunday morning is the most segregated hour of the week. And this was, you know, pre-civil rights movement when there was official segregation. Mm -hmm. And then they're saying, well, the churches are worse. And of course, we could get into a lot of debates and get a lot of opinions if we tried to assess, you know, what exactly is the progress since then, because some people would feel like there's been a lot of progress and others would say there's not been much progress and mm -hmm. so on. Um, but still, and you know, I think about this in our, in our circles. So Anabaptist perspectives, we're representing a certain um, piece of the Anabaptist movement here. And it seems like we have a hard time relating at a church level, you know, beyond people who grew up in conservative Anabaptist circles or similar circles. Um, and it makes me wonder sometimes, and I think other people ask these questions like, well, you know, are we, are we missing something about these barriers or <laughs> partitions that Ephesians talks about Jesus taking down? Um, yeah, how do you think about some of those issues? Well, it's a big subject, uh, and I don't know that I have the answer for all of them. There is uh, there is this tension between um, between lightness and diversity, and I think with with the kind of um, disintegration uh, or uh, breakup of the church we do find ourselves moving toward those that are like us. I think that even as conservative Anabaptists, we should, we should think in terms of uh, resisting at least some level of that, of that like, just being like, uh, and ha especially if we, if we make it a fairly closed circle, uh, that, that really bothers me. I, I think we should, we should uh, reach out to others and and appreciate uh, where God is working in the lives of others. I, I don't know um, that we can rectify everything uh, there, uh, but it's a joy to me when in our congregation we have people from different backgrounds, uh, ethnic groups, uh, whether it's race or uh, sometimes uh, we we have a number of people from other other backgrounds, and I find great joy in that. Even where they bring perspectives that are different from ours, and um, I I I just find a lot of of joy seeing how uh, how Jesus can bring people together from uh, different backgrounds. I I think the the New Testament example of the Jew Gentile coming together in one body is just amazing. It, uh, and and we can I, at least I can look back and think about um, well they really should have done that and that was really good you know and yet it, sometimes it seems like more minor differences today can keep us apart and and yet the work of Jesus is to is to bring diversity together and I think we should rejoice in that and actually I, I don't know that we have to necessarily try to look for somebody diverse simply being open with. Uh, sharing uh, who Jesus is uh, with others. And um, uh, we have in our congregation uh, people from different backgrounds. And I, I, it, for me, it's a, it's, a, it's a great joy. And I, I think we should at least be open to those things. And, and, and particularly, I think, making our entrance uh, such that it's accessible to people. 
uh, there are values in, in, that conservative Anabaptists have that are good values, family values, work values, and those kinds of things. But but recognizing that people from different backgrounds can have um, can have uh, some diversity there, and we making it such that there is entrance possible that that actually they can they can come in and be part of us, one with us. Mm-hmm. Maybe I could just uh, illustrate that in, in one way. So our strong family values, when we have people coming into our congregation, oftentimes they don't have those or they might come as parts of families. Or, um, and, and I think it's important that we include them in our family structures in ways that, that enable them to experience the closeness, um, uh, almost like adopting them into our into our family's uh, structures, so that they don't just hear about our family gatherings and wish they could have them, but that they can actually participate in those kinds of things. That would be an, an, an illustration of ways that we can actually pull them in in, in good ways. Mm-hmm. And it's actually it's actually building a community when you do That's that. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A sense of, of belonging, of identity, and so on. Mm-hmm. 